everybody. I'll tell you something about myself. Ever since I was a kid, I've always wanted to be a movie star, but I realise now that's never going to happen because I don't exactly have movie star looks. I've got more of a look of a guy who might appear in one of those comparison commercials. <laughs> As the man with the worst superannuation. <laughs> That's my whole vibe, like... Maybe I'll get a big break, like maybe one day I'll get to appear in an ad as a guy who's impressed by his neighbour's new Hyundai. <laughs> Spend the whole ad just watering the garden. Until he pulls up in his new car. I get so distracted I accidentally water my kids, like what a car! <laughs> That's my dream. <laughs> I, uh, I moved out of home when I was 22, and when I first moved out of home, I used to be really anxious about a lot of different things to the point where I couldn't do certain things. Like, I didn't used to be able to order at the deli, at the supermarket, because I was just afraid I'd muck up the order. I was afraid I'd get up there and be like, oh, hey, can I get some shaved turkey? And the deli lady would be like, oh, how much do you want? And I'd be like... <laughs> like... I don't know, like a litre? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know your system, I don't know. <laughs> but I know, I know the exact moment I got over my anxiety and that was the first time I ever went to the supermarket with my housemate because he'd never ordered at the deli before either, but he wasn't anxious at all. He just walks straight up, he goes, can I get some ham? And the deli lady goes, how much ham do you want? And he goes, three kilos. <laughs> wow. Which is too much ham. <laughs> But she didn't even bat an eyelid. She just prepared this brick of ham for him, gave it to him, he took it, put it in his basket, and we walked down the next aisle together, and he goes to me, this is too much ham. <laughs> I said, yeah, man. And you can't take that back. And then he just left it in the shampoo aisle. <laughs> Could still be there, I'm not sure. <laughs> this happened to me a little while ago. I was walking through the city and uh, out of the corner of my eye, I saw a bird swoop towards me and I went to brush it away. But as I did that, somehow I caught it, <laughs> threw it on the ground and the bird walked off. And I don't think that interaction went the way either of us had planned. <laughs> Attack, defend, friendship and then... As it was walking off using its little legs, there was a part of me that thought, can I now fly? <laughs> Is this a Freaky Friday situation? <laughs> Have me and that bird switched lives? That bird's gonna walk to my office, sit at my desk, try and use my computer. <laughs> Meanwhile, I have to fly into its nest and regurgitate my lunch for its kids. Now, here you go, baby birds, enjoy those two sushi rolls and a Red Bull. <laughs> but it was in the air, then it was on the ground. I reversed an animal. It was airborne, and then it was land-based. And I thought, is this my superpower? I had to test it out. I went, I found a cat. <laughs> Results were inconclusive, so... <laughs> so here we are. I was over in uh, Perth at the beginning of the year. I was doing some shows over in Perth, and to promote the shows that I was doing in Perth, what I decided to do to promote the shows was I joined a bunch of Facebook groups for Perth backpackers to promote the shows to the backpackers, because you know how backpackers love to spend money? So <laughs> I joined, like, seven different Facebook groups for Perth backpackers, and I promoted the show, but now I'm just in seven different Facebook groups for Perth backpackers. So now all my Facebook feed is is just post after post after post from backpackers in Perth. And it's all the same thing. It's always someone like, oh, hi, I'm 22, I've just arrived here from Germany, I'd love to get a broom, but I don't have a car, can I get a ride with anybody? <laughs> oh, hi, I'm 19, just arrived from the Netherlands, I'd love to go to the Kimberley, can I get a lift? <laughs> oh, hi, I'm quite young, English isn't my first language, I'm very far from home, can somebody take me into the desert? It is... <laughs> post after post after post from people who are definitely gonna get murdered. <laughs> And it has riddled me with anxiety because it's all I see when I check my Facebook. I wake up, check my phone, another goner. It is so upsetting. <laughs> it's just like, you'll be on the news or worse, you won't be. It's so sad. <laughs> so sad. 
because I can't do anything, I can't warn them, I can't write anything like, be careful out there. Real suspicious. <laughs> anything does happen, suspect number one. <laughs> not from Perth, not a backpacker, why am I in there? <laughs> it is hard to explain. <laughs> I've been thinking about this recently because I uh, recently got Netflix. I love Netflix. I love it so much because I used to illegally download anything and everything. But since getting Netflix, I don't download anything anymore. Who knew the way to stop piracy was to give people access to some movies? <laughs> not all movies. Not movies you're interested in. <laughs> not even movies you've heard of. <laughs> Just some movies. My friend's like, oh, did you see Dunkirk? I said I didn't, but I saw a documentary about Atari. <laughs> it's pretty good, would recommend. <laughs> but I did, I used to legally download anything and everything. I think one of the reasons why is I would never believe Hollywood whenever they would tell me the problems with piracy. They'd always have these big ad campaigns that would say things like, oh, piracy is costing us money. My favorite ad campaign was when the Australian film industry got on board, and the Australian film industry released that ad campaign which said, don't illegally download Australian film. And everyone went, we're not. So, <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> May as well have had an ad campaign which was, you can have every Australian film for free. <laughs> Would have been like, we're good. <laughs> Mum's seen Red Dog. <laughs> I got it, that's all I'm gonna do. You guys have been super fun. I've been Pete James, have a great night. <laughs>